We are coming on the air with breaking news and another update on the health and recovery of Bill family. Safety Damar Buffalo. Hamlin. Right now, Dr. William Knight and Dr. William Pritz from the University of Cincinnati Medical Center are giving uh, an update as we got last week um, as progress continues to be made. Let's listen in live now from Cincinnati. The Hamlin family have asked Dr. Wright, Dr. <laughs> pardon me, Dr. Knight and Dr. Pritz to represent the many UC Health specialist and multi-specialty teams who have cared for Damar, including our cardiologists who have been providing round-the-clock care to Damar since his arrival last Monday night. Dr. William A. Knight IV is a professor in the Department of Emergency Medicine and Neurocritical Care, University of Cincinnati College of Medicine. Dr. Knight is also the lead physician for the NFL Cincinnati team of unaffiliated neurotrauma consultants, visiting team medical liaisons, and the emergency medical services support group, including on-field paramedics, airway management physicians, and respiratory therapists. Dr. Timothy Pritz is a trauma surgeon and serves as a professor in the Department of Surgery at the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine and division chief of general surgery. I will pass these, this over to the physicians to share an update on Damar's medical condition. After the update, we'll have about 10 minutes for Q&A with the media. And when you ask questions, I kindly ask that you state your name and organization before you pose your question. Thank you, and Dr. Knight. Thanks, Kristen. We shared last time that we were with you that our ultimate goal was to get Damar um, back home to his amazing family and the broader Buffalo family. Well, Dr. Pritz and I are thrilled and proud on behalf of UC to report to you that Damar Hamlin has been released and returned to Buffalo. I traveled with him to the airport this morning with our UC Health air care and mobile care crew, including teammates who were with us on the field when Damar Hamlin collapsed. He landed safely and as standard as anybody who has gone through what he's gone through this past week, and certainly after flying on a plane, he is going to be observed and monitored to ensure that there's no impact on the flight of his condition or on his lungs. Dr. Pritz and I have spoken extensively with his care team in Buffalo, and I can confirm that he is doing well, and this is the beginning of the next stage of his recovery. As Kristen noted, Tim and I are representing the many, many individuals and teams who have cared for Damar over the past week. This includes our EMS, our emergency medicine, trauma surgery, cardiology, critical care, neurocritical care, all of our amazing nurses, respiratory therapists, physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, pharmacists, you name it. I could keep going. There are many, many people that had a hand in Damar's successful recovery to this point. And as a team, our collective focus from day one has been keeping DeMar at the center to ensure a good outcome for him. Since our last update to you, DeMar Hamlin has met a number of key milestones on his journey to recovery. I believe when Dr. Pritz and I uh, last met, uh, DeMar was still intubated, intubated and on a ventilator. Obviously, since then, he has been extubated and has gone through a weaning of his oxygen he has been up with physical therapy and occupational therapy, walking the unit, tolerating a regular diet, meeting with his family and, and many members of the care team that wanted to see how he was doing, all to get him to this point that he could be safely returned to Buffalo. And so at this point, I think that we're comfortable uh, opening up to, to questions, any, anything that anybody may have at this point. But thank you all for your well wishes, not only for DeMar, but also for our team here at UC. It truly has been felt. Hi, Catherine Fitzgerald from the Buffalo News. Um, thank you guys so much for the update. I wasn't expecting so much good news so soon, so I'm, uh, my questions are a little different now, but I was wondering if you could talk a bit more about um, the next steps for DeMar Hamlin at this point, You know what he still needs to do and what that um, outpatient care will look like. Thank you. Certainly a great question, and, and neither are we to be, uh, to be candid. Uh, we, we continue to be ecstatic about his recovery. And as Bill mentioned, when we started all this, you know, we, what we told his parents is the only thing that mattered uh, was the patient in the bed and getting him back to him and his family um, and to his community. Uh, so we anticipate that he will undergo, you know, an ongoing series of tests and evaluations 
uh, to determine the etiology of what caused the incident on Monday night um, and to uh, treat any pathology that may be found. Um, and just one follow up with that ongoing testing, what does that timeline look like? And is there anything that you're able to rule out at this point to the cause or is it still too early on that? Uh, I think it's uh, still uh, fairly premature to comment on that. And, and the further timeline will be determined uh, by, by him, uh, most importantly, uh, but also by the uh, experts um, in the hospital where he is now. Thank you. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> hey, there we are. Uh, my name is Liz Bonus. I'm with WKRC TV here in Cincinnati. So uh, glad to be able to share your work and the latest update. So will he go to another rehab facility? Is there a step down that he will be followed in now? And also I wondered, um, did you ever have to cool down his body when you brought him in? Is that one of the reasons or one of the things that you credit to him doing so well right now? So um, I, I can't speak exactly to where he is right now. He, he has been transferred to another hospital um, in terms of those next steps. Again, uh, we're going to defer to the, the, the very capable and um, excellent hands that he's in. Um, as for the question you refer to uh, what we call as targeted temperature management, and the answer is yes. Um, uh, DeMar was uh, placed on our targeted temperature management uh, protocol, um, and he was managed in that by our neurocritical care team uh, mo for most of the duration, really up until the point that he got extubated, um, was the point that we had him under uh, fairly aggressive temperature management. And then last thing, do you see him back on the field this lifetime? Do you, do you, do you see limitations to his future? So uh, I, I think I think we're in the same place that we were um, in, the, in the last discussion is that it is entirely too premature to discuss uh, not only his football, it's, it's that we're really focused on his day to day recovery. He, he still has um, a little bit of a ways to go in terms of his ongoing recovery. We're thrilled to where he is um, today. He's he's up. He's walking around. He's got an amazing, genuine sense of humor. Um, and his family is amazing and, and we're happy he's with them. But in terms of any kind of conjecture to his future, um, it, it's still, that's still significantly into the future and, and it's going to be up to, to DeMar and a, and a great team of physicians to help him. What do you mean when you say still is a ways to go? Just ongoing recovery. And I mean, he just got extubated three days ago, so he's still got some, some recovery to do. All right, great. Thanks guys. Thanks Liz. Hi, everyone. Uh, Coley Harvey from ESPN. Um, uh, echoing so many sentiments, definitely did not realize this was the news that we would get today. So uh, your your staff should feel very good about your work. Um, we, you said that he was walking around the unit. When when exactly did he begin walking? Yeah, yeah I, think, I think he walked his first lap on uh, Friday. On Friday, well. Wow. Yeah, breathing tube came out, just to clarify the timeline a little bit. The breathing tube came out early Friday morning. Um, and uh, he's continued to make good progress since, uh, but worked with uh, physical therapy and, and was had assisted walks with the nursing staff on Friday, continuing to regain strength. He's certainly on uh, what we consider a very normal to even accelerated trajectory uh, from the life-threatening event uh, that he has uh, that he underwent, uh, but is making great progress. You just said uh, accelerated to normal. What uh, what does accelerated look like in terms of that trajectory? I mean <laughs> That's a great question. Any, anything to, to the one side of normal. Uh, <laughs> nor, normal as we would expect, you know, a normal recovery from something like this is going to be measured in weeks to months. Um, and, uh, you know, he's been a little bit ahead of that at each at each stage. And uh, actually one more for me. Uh, uh, what does that recovery process look like uh, next? What 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 are we looking at he, him needing to do uh, specifically next? The goal for every uh, patient who suffered a you know serious illness or injury uh, is to uh, help them to return as close to baseline as possible. Uh, so we anticipate that he would have you know likely ongoing uh, needs, uh, you know whether it is therapy or you know at working um, with different specialists uh, to get him as close to to where he uh, really can be. But you know again to echo what we talked about on Thursday, he appears to be neurologically completely intact. Uh, and there's no reason to uh, believe that he won't continue his path to recovery. Thank you guys so much.
Doctor, 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 doctor,
therapy, as we're not going to be involved in that, I'm, I'm hesitant to comment on what other physicians and care teams are going to be doing. Um, he's in, uh, in great hands and, and that is they're going to be helping to create that plan of what his next uh, steps in the recovery will be. Just to clarify, he is uh, home in Buffalo. He's not been transferred to another hospital. He's been transferred to another hospital. Thank you. Yes. Hey, hello, doctors. Alex Brasky with the Batavia Daily News here in Western New York. Thanks for all you've done. Now, were you able to watch the game on Sunday? Do you have any reaction to the reaction from the fans and, and just the overall league this week in support of DeMar and, and, and just the steps taken to honor? Him? Yes. No, that's, that's a great question. Um, so, you know, we have permission from him and his family to, to let you know that he did watch the game on Sunday. Um, he was beyond excited um, and feels very supported by the outpouring of love from across the league. Um, and especially from the Buffalo area. Um, we've learned this week that the Bills Mafia is a very real thing. Um, and we all feel the love from, from you all in uh, Western New York. Uh, but, you know, he, he watched the game on uh, yesterday um, when the uh, opening kickoff was run back. He jumped up and down, got out of his, uh, his uh, chair, um, set, I think, every alarm off in the ICU in the process. Um, but he was fine. It was just an appropriate reaction to a very exciting play. Um, so he, he very much enjoyed it and uh, enjoys the, the support from everyone. All right. And just moving forward, I know people have asked about the steps in his recovery, but is, is there any sense you can give us as far as how far away he is to returning to normal life? Uh, I think it's pre too premature to uh, speculate with that. You know, he's uh, he's making great progress. Uh, again, his brain, you know, and neurological function is is really normal. Uh, and so, you know, it, right now it's just a young man recovering from a, a very serious illness. Uh, and uh, we think that he will, um, you know, recover well from this. You know, and, and he is has a great positive attitude. You know, he you know originally asked, you know, who had. Uh, um, uh, you know, one. And, you know, he, his answer now to that is that we all want out of this. You know, he's one as a patient, you know, the, uh, hopefully everybody will go out and get trained in CPR uh, so that you two can save a life someday. Um, and, and out of all that, everybody can win. And so we, we really agree with his sentiment that we all won from this. Thank you so much. We're going to have one more question. Thank, and then thank you so much for your service. I appreciate your time. Thank you. One more Hi, doctors. Uh, this is Jesse First. Hi, doctors. This is Jesse Kurt, NBC Network News. Uh, thank you for briefing and I'll just echo everything uh, what you and your entire team has done uh, throughout the last several days. Um, I, know, I know you said we're a long way off from uh, you and, and DeMar being able to consider if he'll ever be playing again or in the near term or in the long term, but can you give us an idea? Obviously, he's, you said he's in another hospital right now, so the answer today would be no, but uh, the Bills still have games left in the postseason and I know that DeMar has uh, tweeted about wishing he could have been uh, out there on the field with his teammates yesterday whether it's on the field on the sideline in a a uh, box in case the weather was too uh, you know intense uh, for his body right now is there any possibility that uh, in the weeks ahead he could be healthy enough to be in attendance at a game to you know salute his teammates and the fans uh is that is that something we could conceivably see or is he pretty much uh, gonna have to stay at home inside for the next few months i think we're gonna defer that to his care team in buffalo to assess the availability of, of, of such a next step i mean obviously um it's something that we would all love to be able to see but again still still likely premature to comment on even today um, and honestly, he's in a different care team now in their hands. And so we're going to defer to them to some of those next um, decisions about the ability to to be with his teammates and, and cheer them on. Um, I think that would be the best thing to do. Thank you very, very much for the questions that you've posed today. We are really grateful. Before we close, Dr. Knight, Dr. Pritz, is there anything else that you would like to say or comment on before we close today? Uh, just again to say that we are are mostly grateful for how well Demar has done. Uh, you know he has an amazing family, 
and they've been with him at his side and members of the Buffalo Bills organization have been with him as well uh, since this all happened. Um, again, we have sub felt support from everybody and people keep asking what, you know, what they can do, you know, learn CPR, uh, support public access to um, defibrillators uh, so that if people, you people are presented with similar circumstances, they can have an outcome ideally as good as he has had uh, under these circumstances. And, you know, if you want to work locally and thank folks, thank the people at your local medical centers, the uh, hardworking folks who do this every day. It's a little bit unusual for everybody who's been involved in this to be recognized, uh, but we certainly appreciate it. And I can tell you that the nurses, the respiratory therapists, the pharmacists, the medics, you know, everybody here um, takes great pride in the work that we do um, every day. And so, you know, thank them and uh, continue to encourage um what they do you know and then you know if you have the opportunity to support the generation of of new science and new research that can really move things forward because if you look back at it 20 years ago public defibrillation and and you know cpr was not necessarily a common thing and so we have a local saying here that in science lives hope um and so really it's that next generation of science that will continue to move medical care forward thank you good night anything all I can say is that we had the right people in the right place at the right time um, for DeMar and, and to echo on what Tim said by training in good quality CPR and having that ability to bring this same type of outcome. We wouldn't necessarily call this miraculous. Is it remarkable? Absolutely. But this was a textbook resuscitation on behalf of, of, of our team um, that allowed DeMar to have an expected outcome when one has immediate bystander CPR and defibrillation. And so we can't credit the team approach. We can't credit the bills enough, DeMar's family, um, to really be able to celebrate what is uh, probably the most um, awesome dis dis discharge from our hospital that we've had in a long time. Great, thank you so much. Again, we are so thrilled that DeMar is back in Buffalo to continue his recovery. A big, big, huge thank you to the Hamlin family, the Buffalo Bills, for their amazing partnership with us, to all the first responders on field, the healthcare teams, the transporters, and our extensive care teams. And most importantly, to DeMar for inspiring all of us. As the bill said on Friday, the amount of faith, hope, and love that we have seen over this past week has been unbelievable and amazing. We also wanna thank you, the media, for your respect of the family and their privacy, and so thoughtfully handling this situation with us and everyone involved. And I guess we'll close by saying, you know, DeMar said it best, we all won. Thank you. Another remarkable update from the physicians at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, Dr. Knight and Dr. Pritz. Less than a week after DeMar Hamlin suffered cardiac arrest and stopped breathing on a football field, he is now back here in Buffalo, flown to Western New York earlier today. He will be treated at least initially at a local hospital with the goal of getting him home as soon as possible. We learned today that DeMar started walking around the hospital room on Friday after that breathing tube was removed, and doctors said he, quote, jumped up and down after that touchdown to start yesterday's game, setting off all the alarms on the equipment. That game, of course, ended in a Bills win. Incredible doesn't begin to describe it again. DeMar Hamlin back in Western New York, continuing his recovery. We'll follow all the developments and have a full report for you when we see you for most Buffalo at the top of the hour at four o'clock. Right now, we're gonna return you to regular programming. Have a good afternoon, everybody.